One of the attractions of policing is the opportunity for professional development and training. Spanset, specialists in working at height and distributors of the Stinger, are delivering custom-built training for officers to support their products. Whilst the products are different, the message is the same, increasing officers' confidence to operate safely in demanding situations. Julie MacDonald explains. These officers from South Yorkshire are a specialist team training in search and rope access, vital training for a modern police force. We've provided uh, backups for uh, protester removals and rope access for the Olympics, the Olympic torch, NATO conference. Plus we've also done big venue searches, things that wouldn't be able to be done if we weren't rope access trained. Fracking tests in Yorkshire mean the team are being asked to work at height and the same pattern is happening across the country. The protests were taken upon themselves to chain themselves mechanically to the, to the lorry and then superglue the skin together. With this situation on top of the lorry, it needed both a high access training to deal with the height issue and then the protest removal training to then debond him and bring him down safely. Ex-senior search advisor to Cheshire Police Chris Jones first saw the need for this specialist training after the Warrington bomb attack and a high-profile murder case. He believes that despite budget cuts, this sort of training is imperative. The threat is full and varied, whether it be from a terrorist point of view, whether it be from a criminal point of view. All officers need to be trained to understand the risks to do with height. From a, a searching perspective, we, we operate in all sorts of terrain, uh, whether it be open country or urban or large uh, structures such as motorway bridges. And if we're not comfortable searching, we're not going to pay attention to the actual detail of the search because we're worried about falling from height. This purpose-built multi-million pound centre in Cheshire is run by Pete Ward, an experienced caver and climber who started life here as a trainer. He's passionate about helping clients in all parts of industry. It should be another day at the office, another the fact that you're sat in your harness outside on a big building or a big structure should be uh, should be quite sort of uh, quite a safe setting. It shouldn't be an extreme environment. Here we trained about 15 to 20,000 people last year. We try and work in a partnership with them more. I think it's better to uh, to have an ongoing understanding. So we would, if we work with a force, we would go out and see them once a year um, and continue the relationship, partly because we can make sure their skills are kept current, but partly so we can understand what they're doing with it. Bespoke courses from the simple to the extreme are what get the team here out of bed in the morning. Because Spanset manufacture products for working at height, the whole company have height and safety in their DNA. Our knowledge of the product through right to the end user, uh, we have quite a, an advantage over maybe other companies. Stinger is one of Spanset's other products and where training is equally vital. Police Constable Lee Morris is successfully using his training in the safe and effective deployment of Stingers. When I deployed it for the very first time, which was against a drink driver uh, that was failing to stop for a motorway patrol, there was the pressure there. You knew the pressure, you could hear the sirens coming, you heard on the radio, um, but I was confident um, and the training had instilled the confidence in me that I was doing it correctly. Police officers during the whole career might only deploy that stinger that one time, even though they've been trained and retrained, but it's vitally important that they get it right that one time. Budget cuts are making the need for this sort of training imperative as forces work together to police the nation. I think uh, consistency of training in the future is quite important, um, being able to deliver packages that are the same to different services um, and then when they come and work together they can work in conjunction a lot easier. And as pressure grows for police forces to do more with less, the team are in no doubt that the training makes them much more effective. The training is, needs to be uniform because then it doesn't matter where we go, who we work with, we're all singing from the, like you say, the same uh, hymn sheet. You can be someone that you can rely on to be in a position of danger and still have a cool, calm head.